every level of experience the transforming power of the holy spirit miracles signs wonders deliverance and breakthrough as the servant of god apostle joshua selman brings you god's word with accuracy and power how, 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 how. let's hold hands together and just bless him in the spirit the lord walking wonders in the midst of his people just hold someone's hands and just pray in the spirit this is unto you, O oh God. This is unto you. Nicodemus came to Jesus by night and said, Rabbi, we know that thou art a man sent from God. For no man can do these things except God be with him. Lift your voice in one minute and pray. Unto the God that doeth wonders. Will you open up the gate? Open up the door Will you open up the gate Open up the door Will you open up the gate Will you open up the gate Open up the door Will you open up the gate Open up the door One more time is a prophetic word That the gates and the doors be open Open up the gate Father, tonight we have come as proof that we believe. We have come in the name of Jesus, trusting that you lift us. Tonight, O oh God, let the power of the highest fall upon us in no small way. Let the sick be healed. Let the oppressed be delivered. Let age-long captivities be lifted. Let your people know that this is the place of encounter. In the name of Jesus, we believe. In the name of Jesus, we believe. Let there be a free flow of the power, the grace, the wonder-working power of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. I like you to be very very sensitive i started sensing a very strong anointing right from home and i know that god is going to visit us in a mighty way you know you have been visited by the results that follow you have not been visited when you recycle the same dimensions a visitation will always lift men to great dimensions great dimensions Shana Baruta de Gedebaladash Kruda Bakatusha Rete Teke Teketa Salabarunda Katepratisha Siba Bakatos Kela Baruta Baranda Skila Pauch 
Teladus kebaranda skadada Jakata baruta skebaratu senegeta Jige baruta sabaradaba Emprata no sabaru jabaru kedebarash Jika labarash The quickening of the spirit That's what I'm hearing The quickening of the spirit It's making alive your spirit man The quickening of the spirit Zaparato zay Shalabarone keta Prado baradu sepradishya From the pages of my heart Let my worship begin the never end It's from the pages of my heart Let my worship begin the never end To the God of all flesh You're my God and your name is Yahweh Your name is Yahweh Yahweh You're my God and your name is Yahweh Your name is Yahweh You're our God and your name is Yahweh. Ah. Your name is Yahweh. Shabalaka rada balakata. Blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory. Cover us. Blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind Spirit of victory Sing blow, blow Blow like a mighty wind Father, do a quick work tonight and do a mighty one at that. Transform our lives, O God. Empower us by your spirit. Turn again our captivities like the streams of the Negev. Let those who have sown in tears tonight reap in joy. Reap in joy. Reap in joy. Reap in joy. In the name of Jesus, we trust you for your wonder-working power tonight. And we vow that Jesus alone will be glorified. In the name of Jesus, please sit down. You see, especially for those outside, there are so, so, so many people outside. But let me tell you something. Truly speaking, you've heard me say it again and again, that the only advantage that those inside have over those outside is physical convenience. As far as the power of God is concerned, once your faith can reach out, there is no limitation. Tonight will be a night that we will not forget in a long time. In the name of Jesus Christ. It not only will be a night of miracles, it will be a night of impartation. Impartation is a transference of possibilities. It's not just a transference of the anointing. It's a transference of possibilities. For I long to see you, he says, that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end 
that ye may be established please be sensitive please be sensitive let your heart be open whether you are standing whether you are following online be sensitive to what the holy spirit is doing because in this place and under this cloud he's birthing ministries he's re-anointing ministries he's he's making your calling and your election sure it is by the spirit of the living god your calling and your election sure it's bringing your situation face to face with the power of the living god don't I say a boy? Don't I you see let me tell you this please listen when through the grace of the spirit you pay the price to align to the power and the grace of God there is no limit to the wonder that you will become it will be from one level of glory to another listen the bible says now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there are certain things that must be captured within that environment one of it is that there must be liberty the word liberty means separation from oppression there must be liberty doesn't just mean deliverance doesn't just mean healing that everything that can stand as an impediment that where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty the lord will not gather us here tonight just to watch a man no the lord will not gather us here tonight just to waste our time for every time he calls on his people is because he has prepared a feast of fat things is asked for us to believe 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 conceive god as true conceive him as true don't see god as a scam don't see him as a 419 lord if you called me and brought me from within this nation or outside this nation then you brought me to bless me and i stand here representing the work you have given me i stand here representing the family you have given me i stand here representing the pain of my generation that's how to posture yourself you don't just come carelessly hoping if paradventure mm -mm, mm -mm. you must have a predetermination in your heart that your faith will attract the power of god don't assume he will touch you just because he has the power to touch you no he responds he responds he responds your calling him is proof of humility is a sign that you have acknowledged that in yourself you do not sustain the ability to make your desires come to pass the lord is nigh them the bible says that call upon him it's not nigh them that wish or think he's around he's nigh them that call upon him and so i welcome you tonight those following us online from whatever nation of the world and the people outside and those in here doesn't matter how far you have traveled and have come you have come to visit the god who has covenanted with his name in this place and he will he will leave you speechless by the end of tonight's meeting he not only will bless you he will do something to you that will cost you he says i will walk a walk in your days that even if you were told you will not believe god is a wonder walking god signs and wonders and miracles with messages on them like julius badger will build a block and write their signature so you are not confused where this came from 
so when he performs his wonders and then he will put his signature upon your life hallelujah please be sensitive be very sensitive i learned this about the healing anointing and i learned this about the power of god in general that every time you are before god one of the easiest ways to receive is to forget about the challenges that you came with and focus on him they looked on to him very simple scripture but instructive they looked on to him and their faces were lightened and they were not ashamed when you come and you are overwhelmed by your challenges financially you know physically etc etc you focus on your challenges because whatever you focus on magnifies before you so when you stand and you are surrounded by your challenges and all you see is your challenge you may not receive anything are we together now Eben taught us that at the center of it all we must see Jesus the healer the lifter the blesser the restorer the anointer so take your eyes away from the storms no matter how raging they may look and for a few minutes let's focus our attention on jesus christ the lord l-o-r-d sovereign ruler it means incontestable he didn't win an election praise the lord i welcome everyone again to a miracle service for the month of april and it doubles as the final day for our prayer and fasting we have been waiting upon the lord in prayer in fast and we thank god for what he has done and what he will yet do praise the lord very quickly before i get into the word we have a lot to do tonight is um, a miracle and a communion service so we are going to start with the communion and then afterwards um, we'll just have some time to minister to the sick and to trust the Lord to come in in a mighty way and to lift us up um, I pray that I remember to share with us a few things to expect every time you come before God it's not important to have an expectation you must know what else can be expected you can have an expectation that is based on your limited understanding of who god is but sometimes your horizon needs to be broadened to know what else he can do so in as much as it's good to have an expectation you must know that more than my expectation he is able the bible says now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly far above all we ask or think so god's ability is limitless praise the lord hallelujah there are so many people tonight i may not want to necessarily interrupt the flow of what god is doing we'll find some time in the course of the service to just take our time and really really honor and appreciate everyone there are people who have traveled from everywhere within and outside this nation and we honor all the men and women of god i have my dear friends and the ministers of god seated here in front we'll take our time to really really celebrate everyone later on but i want us to just focus on the word and let's trust the lord to help us praise the lord amen second peter chapter one we began to deal with this second peter chapter one we're reading the first three verses just to establish something for our faith to rest upon and then we trust god and whilst we are doing that please may i request that the communion be set so that we would make it really really very fast we'll start from verse 2 verse 2 and 3 it says grace and peace please look up if you don't have a bible be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Verse 3. According as his divine power. Stop and let me just buttress on this for the sake of those who are just joining us today. We establish the fact that every possibility in the kingdom comes from his divine power. 
that means the active agency that is responsible for results in this kingdom it is not his word it is not faith it is his divine power please understand faith and the word are instruments that convey his divine power that the active ingredient the force behind the performance of god is his divine power the bible says his divine power hath given unto us all things that means there is nothing that is outside of the jurisdiction of his divine power to provide are we together so if you are healed the agency that brought that healing is his divine power if you are lifted tonight like you will be it comes from his divine power if god opens a door if he smashes obstacles no matter what it is whatever happens in your life that can only be done by god was sponsored by his divine power are we together now so we're establishing this please get the teaching yesterday the dynamics of the anointing please please get it it is very important that your understanding about how the power of god works is straightened and accurate i shared something yesterday i might repeat a little bit of it this morning or this evening really but then the goal is to get us to solidify our understanding it's a very simple principle but if you do not have it you may never see the power of god at work are we together now yes so his divine power hath given us all lifting all healing all speed all restoration are we together now all energizings all deliverances his divine power because for many years you see from preachers to members to elders in the faith we have not exactly understood the dynamics how the word of god how faith and how the anointing synergizes themselves together to produce a performance in believers so we have those who believe in what they may call the word we have those who believe in what you may call faith we have those who believe in what you call the power of god and none of them is wrong because the results show they must be doing something right are we together now yes the divine power of god is the central working force that bets his ability in the life of people and over their situations the word of god listen like i taught you faith you know comes from the word of god your conviction of it are we together now faith is derived from the word of god that means that god has made several propositions in scripture according to his integrity is a manifesto of what he is able to do are we together now so he's proposing to the saints that for trusting me these are the possibilities that can accrue to your life so it's up to you by the ministry of the holy spirit to come to a point of conviction are we together now when you come to that point of conviction then you are mandated to demonstrate your conviction through an action of obedience the name given to both the conviction and the action you take is faith if you are convicted and do not act in compliance with the condition that makes for that result you have believed but you are not in faith is it simple enough are we together now that means that faith is not only resident within the heart it starts with the heart but there must be a step that is taken to honor your conviction understanding has come to you when you know your role in the equation of your results if you do not know the role you have to play in the equation of your result you do not understand it this is very important but the word of god please listen is the agency by which faith is built it says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god it doesn't necessarily mean just hearing a voice that means that there is a system of interaction with your spirit man when you are exposed to whether the written word or the spoken word if it's the word that comes from god it sustains an ability to rest upon your spirit full of god's convictions the bible is full of his propositions this is what i can do 
and then you prove it by saying lord i trust you so the word of god itself i'm careful to say this now because i don't want you to make to sound like the word of god is not powerful it is powerful but it is powerful because it is the carrier and the container of his power are we together now the anointing follows the word of god wherever the word of god goes that's where the anointing goes so if the word of god goes in the direction of healing his power goes in the direction of healing if the word of god goes in the direction of lifting his power goes in the direction of lifting but i said something yesterday that i will establish quickly for the purpose of the impartation that would happen later that our limitations or the inability to see the fullness of god's power is caused by two factors yesterday i attempted to establish that number one the nature of the operation of the anointing is that just because you are anointed does not mean everything can be done the anointing works like money are we together now that every level and every dimension has a spiritual price tag the possibilities that can be purchased at that level if you have Ten thousand naira. There are certain things you can obtain with that amount. Are we together now? You cannot obtain anything higher than ten thousand. So I gave an example yesterday. Come, doctor. I gave an example yesterday that if I am a man of God and I have, let me use for the purpose of example, say, hundred thousand naira worth of anointing. Watch this. I hope you understand why my, my example when this gentleman comes to receive from me under god god is limitless his power is limitless the holy spirit is unlimited are we together now but remember the possibilities are according to the power that works not lives in me are we together now then when i pray for this brother father bless him father lift him the level of grace that i have are we together now will scan through this man's life and only solve the problems that are within the grace oh dear i'm just spotting him please let's honor the pastor of second equa here may the lord honor you sir i cannot but honor you thank you surprise surprise thank you god bless you so much sir hallelujah are we together so this man has he's in need of restoration watch this now he's in need of speed he's in need of lifting he's in need of deliverance he's in need of healing he's in need of impartation of a supernatural grace say the gift of the spirit it is only the problem that is within the level of the anointing i have that will be solved he may fall down he may roll under the anointing he will get up with some cases solved and others not solved this is the reason why being anointed once is not enough you must strive to grow in glory because you get to a point where every challenge that is brought is within the level of your grace that's when you become a blessing so the bible says it this way how god anointed jesus you see that now the secret of his going around doing good was not just that he was anointed look at the extent to which he was anointed When you read Isaiah chapter 47, it begins to show us the dimensions or the progressions of the anointing in the life of a person and the possibilities that can happen at every level. Ezekiel the prophet was in a vision and he began to see a river that flowed from the east side of the temple and then it was to his ankle, then it was to his knee, it was to his loins and then it was a river that he could not flow through it and the bible says whatever contacted that river at that level every fish that was dead came alive there are certain conditions and levels of the anointing where certain results are activated all results are not activated at every level if you're with me say amen, amen. this is the reason why the apostles will minister and sometimes they will honestly admit that this level of grace is not at work in their life and they will go and outsource for other dimensions of the spirit to continue from where they've stopped are we together 
I believe and I am convinced that the sons of Skiva had succeeded in some level of deliverance at one point or the other. I do not want to believe that was their first trial. The level of confidence reveals that they must have gotten some results. So they said, we adjure you by Jesus, whom Paul preaches. And hear the response of the demon. Jesus, I know. You see, in other words, the demon is saying, I know who I am. I'm not stupid. I know the level of grace that can get me out here. I know that Jesus has it. I know that Paul has it, but I don't know where you are standing. And you see, this is it. So if you can't if you can pray for me and get me free, then I will pounce on you. You see it now. It's a, it's a big risk to be anointed at a very low level. Because you will not see the need to press for more of God. And then you will believe that just because the anointing is there, just like money, just because you touch the back of your pocket and there's something there, does not mean you have what it takes to purchase the things that you want so this is what we identified as the number one reason why we may not be able to obtain certain results and you know the level of grace and anointing at work in your life by the testimonies that recycle around your life and ministry the testimonies that recycle around your life are a testament they are proof that this is what the grace you have can produce are we together number two we discussed yesterday if you remember very carefully that the second um revelation that we must understand on the dynamics of the anointing is that your understanding is what structures the efficiency of the anointing listen carefully that means that it is not enough to be anointed the dimensions and the possibilities that the anointing produce is where your understanding takes it to i gave you an example yesterday that the anointing is likened to a reservoir of water are we together and your understanding is like the host wherever you channel the water to it will go the pressure and its ability to give life is not in doubt but the various areas that will partake of that water is governed by this host call your understanding that means listen that means that if all i know is the dimension of god that heals every time i pray for someone the only dimension they will see in their life is healing my understanding will continue to push the anointing to manifest as the healing power of god so if the person is looking for prosperity for instance i will pray for the person but you will find out that he will be healed but not prosper and the reason is because the moment i sustain an understanding of the economic system of god then the power of god can follow that new pathway to heal his finances are you getting what i'm saying now yes so if i do not understand the principles that make for restoration after a delay i can come and say in the name of jesus be restored no the anointing will want to follow the path of restoration but understanding has not opened the channel so the anointing is limited and it will be forced to follow the path that is currently open and if that path is healing or whatever it is then you see it there that means that you are efficient in the dispensing on the, of the power of God to the degree to which you sustain understanding of God's ways, his methodologies. Hallelujah. So in my example, like I gave, every time there was delay in a man's life, restoration came exclusively through the prophetic. Are we together now that means that if i want the power of god to bring restoration to this man the power of god must flow through the prophetic to produce that effect if it flows through any other channel it may bless the man but not restoration are you getting what i'm saying now that means that if i want restoration i will create a pathway of the prophetic for the anointing to come and bless this man this is very very powerful because most believers um and this is the reason why you may want to reason this with me for a while that our fathers respectfully speaking and all those who have gone to be with the lord a number of them did not pay the price 
to get illumination and spiritual enlightenment are we together they subjected themselves in much fasting and prayer and they had very heavy deposits of the anointing but you notice that with the level of anointing they had their results were small because the understanding that will give that anointing expression to manifest in the various facets of their lives were not there we went to second kings yesterday and we saw how that the problem was not the oil the problem was the vessels the vessels if there is a vessel of the understanding of the healing ministry and it is filled the anointing will flow if there is a vessel of prosperity the anointing will flow if there is a vessel of church growth the church will grow if there is a vessel of speed etc etc so it's not enough to be anointed that's why jesus mentored people by giving them over 99 percent teaching they sat under a strong teaching ministry and then in one day they received an impartation we reverse the case in our generation we are always doing impartations we lay hands you fall down you stand up we lay hands you fall down you stand up we lay hands you fall down you stand up but the results do not change because the understanding that gives it expression is not there notice that for such people who have been receiving impartation for many years the day they get any light the result is almost instant because it's like the anointing has been piling up just waiting for the doorway that opens for it the walking knowledge of the power of god i believe in the power of god but it is very frustrating to not know how it can translate to the results of people your being anointed does not mean anything until lives are changed and transformed in a way that is notable enough please listen listen take note of it in a way that is notable enough in a crowd like this my brothers and sisters please reason with me that in a crowd of thousands of people like this and several others from around the world imagine that at the end of this service only three or four or five people are healed delivered or lifted by god's standard even by human standards you did a bad job so you are a blessing to the degree to which you have intimacy with god and you understand the operations of his divine power enough to be able to flow like a river Shabakataya. flow like a river so that in one hour someone who is probably standing I'm, I'm told they had to create a new overflow so let's use the overflow four right you're just standing at overflow four hoping lord will you touch me and in five minutes you check around and you cannot understand your life again because you have moved to another dimension his divine power his divine power please hear me whatever issue of concern it is the divine power of god that is able to produce it we're here thousands of us with our various requests representing our pain our disappointments our frustrations our expectations my assignment as a man of god is to bring your challenges face to face first with god and then his divine power and then if i can do that i finish my assignment my assignment is to connect your situation with the power of god and get out of the way and then you watch the wonder working power of jesus when you don't get out of the way you become an interruption to the efficiency of the power so the assignment of an anointed man of god as it were is to allow the lord to use him by the spirit of god to connect the challenges of people to his divine power if you can do that a miracle service has started hallelujah and so then it becomes it becomes mandatory upon us men and women of god to study the systems that can help us connect the power of god to people's problems like you connect a a, a fuse to a socket and switch it on you finish yours and the gadget begins to work it works for as long as that connection is there 
hallelujah praise the lord so let it not surprise you if within the next few minutes you turn around and cannot see what you came here with it is his divine power his divine power remember the testimony of our precious mother was so touched when she shared that testimony just like that in the twinkling of an eye someone's life changes the twinkling of an eye a grace you did not come here with goes back with you a twinkling of an eye a challenge that you have had that has been age long listen let me tell you don't get too used to the hand of satan on your life just because his hand has rested for a long time does not mean it cannot be lifted you tried lifting it with different graces so they did their best but there are graces that can lift it is true it is true praise the lord your assignment tonight is to believe that his divine power is able to come through for you and then number two to be prepared listen listen please this is your own part now to be prepared to respond by faith what does it mean to respond by faith to listen for the instructions that make for your results it's important every result has a strategy a pathway that produces it if your challenge is jericho you need to know how to go around and shout if your challenge is the red sea you need to know how to use the rod to part it if your challenge is five loaf and two fish to feed five thousand you need to know the mystery of thanksgiving that makes for multiplication if your challenge is the leprosy of naaman you need to know how to go to jordan to wash all results are not produced by the same strategy it is the same divine power but your faith must be anchored on an instruction that is tied to it deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1 it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i command you this day it says that you will be set up on high above all nations of the earth and that all these blessings will come upon you and overtake you praise the lord that's how it works so while you take your eyes away from your pain you must set your gaze on something else jesus the possibilities is it true oh god that you can turn my family situation around seven of us came for this miracle service and lord i don't even know where you will start but then you listen you listen you listen sometimes it can come as one prophetic word and it's done look let me tell you something the ease with which miracles happen i think is the reason why many people cannot receive it how do you look at someone like this and say go it's done what does that mean you are making a mockery of me i sang praise and worship i rolled on the ground and i stood here and all you tell me is go was that not what naman was complaining about he said you mean you want to embarrass me i just go and wash in a river i thought you will even come out and salute me and give me something more intelligent but you see the ways of god are not like the ways of men jesus was speaking to nicodemus and he said the wind blow it where it listed he says you cannot tell where it's going nor where it's coming he says so is one who is led of the spirit you have to be spiritual to understand the ways of god you have to be spiritual because traditions of men can make the word of god of non-effect it can strangle the potency of god's word but tonight i agree with you and i know that there are people here who are determined that everything we are going to be doing here within the next hour or so that it will culminate to a tangible result let me tell you this i love jesus christ i love him with all my heart and i made a vow unto god that among the many things that will happen to the people that he ever brings to me and puts under my care wasting their time will not be part of it i made up my mind by god that you should not come for koinonia twice to testify no 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 you should come twice to grow you should come twice to learn you should come twice to know god but one encounter should be enough it's true 
one encounter apostle i came to take fresh fire one encounter one encounter i came to break the bands of witchcraft and wickedness in my family one encounter one encounter apostle my family members did not come with me but they asked me to represent them it doesn't matter one encounter the power of god master he says he told the centurion let me come to your house to honor you being a captain in the army he said no for i am also like you a man under authority i understand the stretching power of authority i may be limited as a person but the roman government has a jurisdiction and that whoever is under the influence of that government can feel the effect of the government so they may not be here but the earth is still the lord's so they are still within the jurisdiction of his reach and if you are a man under the authority of that owner then the power of god should flow riding on the integrity and the sovereign power of that owner to touch anybody anywhere this i believe this i believe this i believe apostle i don't even know the name of my situation i've gone to the hospital they have done everything jesus if he said he was just healer would have found reason to be afraid later on but he says i am the resurrection and the life what is resurrection giving life to something that has no business having life resurrection resurrection i am he that was dead but now is alive apostle i came here with my cv is it that god cannot give me a job i've gone around looking for jobs again and again i've applied everywhere god should see my family what then is the blessing if the anointing cannot change the situation what does it mean to be a blessing as a man of god does it mean to preach well does it mean to be sympathetic to people's situation as important as that is sympathy does not produce result it only provides comfort god did not call us to be sympathizers no he says the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me too then he begins to list all the things that will happen and then at the end of all of those things he says to give them beauty for ashes the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called oak or the trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might in their result be glorified john chapter 17 and verse 1 jesus christ lifted up his eyes to the heavens praying and he taught us a principle there verse one he says father the hour has come and then he said glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee so how is god glorified when the son is glorified how is god glorified as a healer when the son is healed when the daughter is healed how is god glorified as a lifter when the son is lifted when the daughter is lifted how is god glorified as a deliverer the dimension of god that he gets glory from is the dimension that the result manifests in your life he cannot be glorified as one who is quick and powerful until your life testifies it your goodness is real i testify your goodness is real your favor is real i testify your power is real i testify how then do you know the favor of god is real listen 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 your faith must grow to trust the difference between faith and trust is that faith is predicated on god's integrity are we together now it, uh, on who god is but trust is based on his integrity and his track record you cannot trust a man until there is a track record are we together if i'm meeting you for the first time dr emeka and they tell me you are a doctor I will have faith in you i can't trust you it's too early it's too early to trust you i will see what your injection does for me 
are we together now when you give me an injection and i cannot walk what should happen to you when you give me an injection i am fine then i come to you and you give me a recommendation and it works i begin to note you and associate you with my joy and then eventually i conclude that this man is worth my belief this man is also worth my staking my all to so that the day you give me an instruction that i do not understand i can reach back at the archives of your track record and say i may not know what you are saying but i know what you said and i know what i saw genesis 21 verse 1 genesis 21 i testify i testify that your goodness is real I testify, I testify that your goodness is real. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did to Sarah as he had spoken. Trust in the Lord. How do you trust in the Lord? Take cognizance of his benefits. Be observant what did he do in 2001 what did he do in 2005 you see if the lord had not been on our side now may israel say on the strength of that track record they named him they gave a name that should not change a testament of their trust a testament of their trust so your assignment is to believe that God is able. Take your eyes away. I repeat, take your eyes away. Please take your eyes away from anything that is not Jesus tonight. And focus. Apostle, they've prayed for me. A prophet just like you prayed for me. An apostle just like you prayed for me. A pastor even conducted night vigils in our house. I know and I respect God and I respect the grace upon that man. Except that one more thing I did not teach you about the anointing. Is that not every anointing blesses you. The man must be sent. There were many widows in Zarephath. But to none was Elijah sent. When the word of God passes you, it does not bless you. It is when it is sent. He sent, not brought. He sent forth. It was when the king sent for Joseph that his life changed. When I sent thee, lackest thou anything. Not when you moved around. When I sent thee. Because every time he sends it, his integrity is upon it. Tonight, God is sending his word to me to you to us the word that lifts the word for your ministry the word for your life is going to be a quick walk some of you write from the communion as you partake from the communion you finish your own miracle service you will just join others in rejoicing it's true you know yesterday i observed and we learned yesterday that the reason why the communion does not produce is because we are only eating bread and juice we have not discerned it the bible says there is a sin that a man can commit the sin of not discerning the lord's body you cannot discern the possibilities that come from that body for many years i took communion and i was left in the dark as to the relevance of this thing in my life I would just take the wafer and take the the drink and then stop there nothing happened until i found out that the life-giving factor of everything is understanding understanding is what gives life to the spiritual activities and the processes that we're involved with so it is not enough to just hear it is not enough to just do it is the understanding that sponsors what we do that produces the results I don't know if there are people here tonight who are here insisting that as surely as there is a God in heaven, whatever I came with, I must leave it here tonight. Hmm. It is important. God is giving you understanding now. When I came into the house of the Lord, then understood I 
the house of god is bethel not just a place of bread but a place where the bread is broken two men met jesus in m house and they began to discuss the messiah and he was there with them but they could not see and then when he broke bread the bible declares that their eyes were open and he departed my assignment is to continue to study continually by the spirit the processes that makes for the liberty of the saints much more than the transformation of the saints much more than providing an atmosphere for encounters the saints need to be brought to a point where they encounter the reality of god's power the power of god can be encountered hallelujah so we're going to partake of the communion very quickly and for many of you this will be one communion you will not forget it doesn't matter even if you are the one who serves your own communion you may serve it like a ritual the wafer does not have any power to do anything for you the bread the cup does not have any power but how shall these things be when i'm using only bread and cup the power of the highest shall overshadow that emblem and whatever comes out of it can produce any result a handkerchief and an apron is not even alive talk more of having faith but when his divine power comes upon it it becomes an instrument of signs and wonders the air that you breathe and the sound that is produced from you does not sustain any power except that when your speaking becomes the voice of god then it is no longer the words of man john said i am the voice of one so when you hear me you hear that one hmm. hallelujah when it's time to pray for the sick i like you to believe god believe god to set people free we we'll do it very fast because there are so many people and praying for the sick takes a lot of time we'll do it fast and then after that we'll do the deliverance and the impartation and whatever it is that needs to leave you it must go it must go this night it must go this night please jump up on your feet your divine power your divine power able to lift me to a higher dimension in the spirit your divine power is someone praying on the last day of the feast jesus came and said is anyone thirsty is anyone thirsty the final day of the feast go ahead and pray please inside outside lift your voices and pray Are you praying lord i believe it is your divine power now i know how the results will come your divine power i know how the lifting will come your divine power i'm under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. We are under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over us. We are under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over us. Yeah. Lift your voice and pray. Sabarando Senekatabariatash. Tonight is my night. I discern. I discern. Sabrakato Senekebrash. 
Endele gabrande zedika shobra gada baladabash. Krato zazi gada barunde ketosh. Embra kato zale gebradish. Zebradika posh. Rakato bari ada baladabash. Rakato bari indes kemeritash. Raka paruda si ada baladabash. He barando jele karusi ada baladabash. Please keep praying. Hela baranda zazia hasa barando kate prekedi balaraba. Hallelujah. John chapter six. John chapter 6 we'll begin our reading from verse 49 to 56 John chapter 6 your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead next verse this is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die 51 I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, not is like my flesh. Is my flesh, which I give for the life of the world. 52. And the Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? 53. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Stop here. Just, just go back. Just go back. This is what he's saying. That in the flesh of the Son of Man and in the blood of the Son of Man is his life. That the life of the flesh is in the blood. Are we together now? listen very carefully so that when you partake please keep that scripture when you partake of it with understanding the bible says that you are not just taking a wafer you are not just taking a drink but that you are you are opening up yourself to partake of the life of god next verse 54 whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood had i told you the word there is not eternal life is the word so way it's not the longevity of the life but the quality of the life and i will raise him up on the last day 55 we're stopping at 56 for my flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed the last verse he that eateth my flesh this is it and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. This is a theological concept called the doctrine of interpenetration. Is the system by which two separate entities are interwoven to become one. The same mystery in marriage. The same mystery with the spirit of God. So that by the mystery of partaking in the communion. That means the spirit should not know the difference between your body and God's body. Are we together now? Yes. Let me tell you what that means. Come. Look at this. Emeka, come. Watch this. If this lady is his wife and she's weak and he's strong, his strength is her own too. You understand that? Are you getting me? Not part of his strength. His strength. So if you say she's strong, you are right. Are we together now? This is very important now. That means that when she's strong and he's weak, her strength is his strength too interpenetration and so now when you partake of this although your body may be weak and frail although your finances may be weak and frail although your ministry may be weak and frail although your body may be ravaged by all kinds of demons but here you are introducing like you are shaking the hand of the other partner in a wrestling and here he comes through this mystery as little as this is let me tell you when you understand this mystery you will not even be able to hold this thing you see like this
Hallelujah. I'm going to pray on this and then we're going to distribute it round. It's simple enough for you to open. You just tear open the wafer and then the drink. And please, the moment you do, do not litter the ground. Do not litter the ground. I don't know what provision has been made for that. But if no provision has been made, whilst you take it, provided you are not under the anointing, just pass it to the last person at the aisle and then you make it easy for the ushers or whoever is involved to just pick them up. You can use the, off the bowls or whatever you have to have them. We are going to pray. Please pray in one minute and mention the things that must live your life because they are not found in the life of the Christ. Please pray. By wisdom, O God, heaven's gates open up. With understanding, you order the season. Creating day and night, turning darkness into light, arranging the stars to your pleasing. But I can't deny, but I Blessed are you, O Lord our God, eternity's holy King. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, whose words bring in the evening. Please pray one minute. We discern your body. We discern your body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, it should go around. I believe that they just brought this to represent the communion. I'm going to pray on this. This is ordinary welfare and a drink. But not after the power of God comes upon it. He says, anything receives power after the Holy Ghost comes on it. Not just men. You shall receive power. The you can be this. Can receive power. Provided the Holy Ghost comes on it. He didn't say men shall receive power. No. Anything receives power when the Holy Ghost comes upon it. Your pain receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Your ministry receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Your communion receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon this. I lay my hands upon this communion, representing all others that are not here. I decree, O oh God, that in a very strange way, may your power flow through this in the name of Jesus. Let it bring miracles. Let it bring all kinds of deliverances. In the name of Jesus. Whoever partakes of this tonight. In the name of Jesus. I declare. Instantly. May your power begin to rest upon them. Let all kinds of breakthroughs begin to happen. Let infirmities give way in the name of Jesus. Let deliverances. Let devils and demons begin to leave. Let doors begin to open. In the name of Jesus Christ. My flesh is meat indeed. We partake with understanding. We partake with understanding. Please make sure everybody, something will begin to happen to you as you partake of this. You will marvel and wonder at the power of the communion. Go ahead, take it with faith and watch the wonder-working power.
the wonder walking power of Jesus the wonder walking power of Jesus Bring all those under the anointing out. Please bring them out quickly. While we wait for the rest to finish, please just bring them out quickly. Something is opening up in your spirit, man. My flesh is meat indeed. My blood is drink indeed. Please bring those under the anointing. There is a reason why I ask you to bring them. I want to pray for them. Something is already happening in the realm of the spirit. Whoa. Please be patient tonight. God is setting people free. When there is understanding to your spiritual activity, then the power is released. The power is released. You will not believe the kinds of burdens that are leaving people already. Shalakaparuda Seketa. Mm. My flesh is meat indeed. My blood is drink indeed. He that eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood hath my life.
Alanda rapa sobada kata bala katus. that has not been planted by my father will be uprooted is it not written in your word that for this purpose the son of God was made manifest that he may destroy I decree in the name of Jesus we are going to begin to minister now that every force that is not of the Christ Right now, I decree and declare by an apostolic and a prophetic rod scattered around this crowd, inside and outside, everybody under any kind of bondage, I decree be free now. Be free now. I command judgment on strange spirits in the name of Jesus. The spirits of ancestry, the workings of bloodlines and territories, I come against you by the God of heaven. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There is liberty. Listen, we are still praying. Please pay attention. I'm praying now. The Lord is showing me families. I'm seeing families under an intense yoke of retrogression. Nothing moves in that family. You can go to school. It doesn't make any difference. You can get a job. It doesn't make any difference. Have a business. It doesn't make any difference. I stretch my hands. Where are those people? Inside and outside. I declare right now. The power of God is coming upon you. It's time for your family to be released. At the count of three. One, two, three. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. I lose your family. I set them free. I set them free. Shamanda kaskabarakata. Embrekete kaparoto seteka. Sheketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeket
you rise to a level and then you crash back it's a pattern that exists in families there's nothing wrong with rising keep rising but you plateau at a level and then you crash back i stretch my hands now this is what the lord is showing me my god my god i decree and declare the spirit that causes men to rise up and crash back in shame represented in anyone here the legal hold upon which you operate is caused now in the name of jesus i release such people right now be released in the name of jesus be released in the name of jesus overflow three please lift your hands the lord is showing me something happening in overflow three overflow three please lift your hands mighty god mighty god i see a lot of attacks serious attacks on overflow three i don't know for whatever reason that the people that are sitting there i'm seeing a lot of attacks at the count of three overflow three i want you to shout the name jesus and there will be a mighty deliverance there overflow three one two three shout jesus hallelujah i'm seeing the gate of a prison and i'm seeing people inside the gate of a prison like the front of a prison and i remember scripture says to open to set at liberty them that are bound there are people who are moving but are in prison all sorts of prisons right now i decree and declare even by the power of the holy ghost let the doors and the chains and the yokes that keep you in bondage i declare that those chains are loose now i declare that those chains are loose now and for all those in front here representing all those that i'm praying for i declare not only that the spirits leave you but that whatever they took from you as surely as the god of heaven leaves your families must testify of that restoration therefore leave them now go go out of them now in the name of jesus release their families release their spiritual lives release their finances hallelujah praise the lord please this row lift your hands i just see angelic activities happening here and i'm seeing something being removed out of people's stomachs this is what i'm seeing here something is being removed out of people's stomachs that's what the lord is showing me just this role i don't know what it is but god is uprooting something that should not be there by the spirit of the living god let it go let it go in the name of jesus i place the word of god upon that situation it must let you go right now the lord is taking something out i still continue to see this vision god is taking something out of people's stomachs the spirit of the lord is there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty i'm seeing the feet of a man and i'm seeing the feet of a man under chains under chains this is what i see and the lord is showing me fire coming to break and consume the feet i know that this vision is a representation of stagnation again over men and families and i declare right now according to that which the lord has shown me in the name of jesus 
that anyone whose feet is being tied in the same position right now by the power of the holy spirit right now something is happening to people i decree i decree and i declare let there be liberty now inside outside let there be liberty right now let there be liberty liberty i command progress to your life move forward i push you by prophecy move forward make progress move forward make progress i forbid stagnation move forward make progress I don't know how to pray this prayer now. Those who are fine up here can return to their seats. I want to pray a prayer and this will affect a lot of people. You don't have to bring the people out. I found myself pray this prayer again and again and again and again. Almost everywhere I've traveled in the last two to three months, the Lord has mandated that I pray this prayer. And my goodness, the testimonies that have come from this. This is the Lord walking in the midst of his people. That lady is not yet free, my friend. Osha, be discerning. In the name of Jesus, that lady is not yet free. It's a realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power. Moving in this place, we're in the presence of angels with God's glory on their wings, and like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing. You are holy, you are holy, you are holy. Please someone to join the PR can join the ushers protocol can join the ushers I want to pray there is a grace for speed there is an exact grace speed is not progress no no there is a difference between progress and speed I had an encounter with the Lord and he placed this grace upon my life if not that it happened i know there is advancement and i know there is speed but i never knew what it was and how it operated until the lord gave me an encounter truly let me tell you there is a real grace for speed and when that grace comes on you you will join the world in shock as to what becomes of your life and the lord wants that grace to come on somebody this night there's someone here that needs this grace this is why you came it's not like you are stagnated but it takes forever if you will believe if you will humble yourself this night and open your spirit you will be surprised i'm going to pray this prayer the reason why i ask some people to join is because every time i pray this prayer people begin to run in the spirit and by the spirit i don't know why it happens that way be sensitive please and then it is of the spirit please don't ask me why it happens that way but if you will let me pray this prayer tonight 
God can make five years the result of five years to come within even a month I know it works when you have this grace on your life you don't fear delay it makes no difference you will gain time within moments I decree and declare by the privilege of God's grace I stretch my hands inside everywhere overflow one two three online father i pray right now let the grace for speed at the count of three come upon someone one two three take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now i shift you speed 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 to your spiritual life speed to your finances speed in ministry speed in business speed upon your influence this is a major answer to your prayer i declare it again speed speed receive it receive it it is not by might nor by power but by the spirit of god you can be picked up upon the wings of the spirit and do things that eyes have not seen that ears have not heard i pray it again those outside receive it those outside receive it i declare speed in the similitude of elijah you will run and you will overtake the chariots of Ahab. hallelujah 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 we are going to pray we have to redeem time there is a lot to do your wife started a journey in the spirit i'm seeing a prophetic progression in her life there is a prophetic mantle that is searching for her it's begun gradually this woman you are seeing as frail as she may look but the hand of god will come upon her and she will speak forth the purposes of god with power i stretch my hands upon you and i pray that the spirit of god will perfect let there be a birthing a birthing of the things that he has begun upon your life a betting of the things that he has begun my friend come this man we may not have time to prophesy to people there's a lot to do lift your hands i don't know you you are coming from somewhere and there are two graces that god is bringing upon your life number one is for your own benefit restoration that's what i hear number two this speed that you see i prayed for is coming upon you i stretch my hands may that grace in the name of jesus first for restoration let there be a restoration of everything the devil has stolen and then i declare speed you receive it now move forward go forward in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there's an elderly woman here called rebecca 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 if we talk to people the time will be gone we have to honor it so that we can do some other things who is that rebecca please when you find the person i want to talk to her in the name of jesus christ we're going to pray for the sick Kai. This woman is outside. You are not inside. You are wearing a, a red like wrapper on your head. The same with what is down on you. Conf Confirm it. Mama, your name is Rebecca. Where are you? From outside? I will pray for you now. I don't know you. I've never seen you, but I want to pray for you. The Lord is going to honor you. I decided to take a pause because... Um, the Lord just asked me to stand here. That's why I'm standing here. 
I'm standing here because I saw something that looked like a bird just come out of someone right here like this just like that just out of someone this is what I saw in the name of Jesus release this family now release this family now in the name of Jesus Christ madam I'll pray for you your name is Rebecca too please come I will pray for you I found the person I'm ministering to but I'll pray for you from where madam from where from area C area C yes sir. I want to pray for you what's wrong with your back back pain yes, yes, this is what I'm seeing true. you get it's up true, in the morning and, true. and then you feel a lot yes, of pain sometimes yes. you cannot even wash yes, yes. number two your chest too yes, it's true. severe it's true. chest around the breast region yes, here. True, the lord is setting true, you free true. right now madam yes, in the name of jesus let it be over right now and forever in the mighty name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ ah! i just had like a car crash in my ears you know how an accident just happens right now this is what i just had in my ears and that the family that that should happen for is in this place i'm going to pray right now be free now i command death you are a spirit i judge you by the god of heaven and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage i want to pray for you madam in the name of jesus christ that god himself will bless you and not only bless you where are your children madam huh? here. your children are here yes. where are they patient Isaac patient Isaac and Sarah this may be the last word and then we have to pray for the sick there's a lot patience and Isaac now only glow no day here let me just pray for you. If, if you are the only one who can represent them, stand up please, my friend. Mama, I will pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ because I'm seeing a very major breakthrough coming to this family. The Lord himself is bringing it to A very major breakthrough. I have no business saying anything God did not tell me. I've not prayed the prayer yet, yet you are receiving it. It's the grace for favor. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. This man will be like a well-watered garden. That the favor of God will call him Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, ma. Please hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, the breakthrough that the Lord shows me. Let it come and come speedily. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are her daughter? Yes. Let me pray for you, my dear. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will not say there is something in your stomach growing. Huh? I'm rebuking something. They will not tell you that there is a growth that is growing in your stomach. I just laid my hands and God is healing someone in overflow one. Oh, please hold on. There is a growth. There is a growth. There is a growth. This has been characterized by extremely painful. Your period is extremely painful. But more than that, there is a growth just around your abdominal area. Overflow one. You don't have to come out. The power of God is touching that person right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, in Jesus' name, by the Spirit of the living God, we declare your liberty. Complete, total, final. In Jesus' name I pray praise the lord now we're going to pray for the sick praying for the sick takes a lot of time our time is already gone i i bless god that there are a number of hands tonight now listen we believe in the power of god to touch people to lift people and most times you would notice in my external ministrations i don't have time to minister to people one by one but because this is a miracle service 
dedicated for that the lord has honored us to be a light on this wise in this city and it is important that we're fair enough to just allow the power of god extend to people we'll do it very fast um all of the overflows all of the overflows i would request that you just move those trusting god for healing particularly please i would request that you move to the front of your projector screen that's where you are going to be prayed for um the ones that spill over do i call that overflow five now i will just request you to be patient we're going to assign a person or two there to minister to you but overflow four three two one and right in here you are here you came standing in for someone or standing in for yourself please make your way out here very quickly and let's trust the god of heaven to set you free you are here full of faith please stand up please stand up if you kneel there will not be space just come stand it doesn't matter you don't have to come in if you're outside just go to your overflow please hallelujah myself alongside the men and the women of god represented here will be praying for you look how many people are trusting god to touch them hallelujah now please you don't have to ask anybody to prophesy or speak just let them minister to you if there is need to speak any words they will let you know praise the lord there are so many people this night and so we'll do our best so we can gain time and just just line everybody here and then we'll pray for you praise the lord prayed for just be patient and allow the men of god minister to you while that is happening our time is already gone please stretch your hands if you've not submitted your request um you can just wave it and someone will pick it up from you especially for those outside you're yet to submit your request just stretch your hands right here and let us agree this hold on please this is not religion this is not tradition this is not a ritual this is a mystery it's a revelation let us not get used to doing this just as a ritual for the miracle service because when we have the form without the power then it will not bless us there have been many many wonderful testimonies that have come out from here and um since i'm the only one here let the men of god minister to you if you are still being ministered to just focus on the ministration but then for all others just stretch your hands towards me and let's agree that these egyptians we see today that we will see no more please agree release your faith and believe we are praying we may not be able to prophesy to you personally we may not be able to give you a word of knowledge but this is a representation of your heart, your pain, your desire, your expectation. The Bible says, and thine expectation shall not be cut short. Stretch your hands and let's agree. There is a God that answers prayers. is someone praying online pray the overflows pray father we declare we're declaring as the church we're releasing and anointing the divine power of god upon these requests some of these requests are death sentences some of them are humanly impossible situations but unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come Zakosh Kamaranda Kaparuza Zekataparia Katalakosia Jekes Kebranda Katopra Asada Katabala Dabaka Rekete Katabarada Bagato Barato Zaziana Kata Shkalabaranda Kaparuza Ziana Kata In the name of Jesus we declare upon these requests a representation of the tears and the pain of your people we decree and we declare 
Makratos kalembre deke paruza ziakata bradias. Ile pereto zaziakata baranda gadash. Kritos kalabarakata balanabush. Shalabaranda kapurus. Like teke teke te baradabash. We decree and we declare. Manda prados kaziza hash kalabaranda kata. Arise for your people by the abundance of your mercy. Give your people testimonies in the name of Jesus. Jiprakatos, Kalabarakata. Believers, pray. We are agreeing. Likato Janana Katabarados. Jabros Katabaranda Kata. Supernatural manifestations of your power. Supernatural manifestations of your power. Supernatural manifestations of your power. Hela barakata sosa brende kedebash. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we declare supernatural walkings of miracles tonight. We declare healing miracles. We declare miracles of provisions. We declare miracles of jobs. We declare sentences of death are broken. In the name of Jesus, we declare supernatural interception, angelic interventions tonight. We declare diverse kinds of miracles, diverse walkings of miracles. In the name of Jesus, we declare creative miracles. We call new organs, we call new jobs, we call for children. We call for deliverances of families. We declare miracles on every side. Let tears of family be wiped away. In the name of Jesus. We declare diverse testimonies tonight. By the workings of miracles. By the divine power of God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Father. Father, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your, the heavens are open in the name of Jesus. We thank you for creative miracles. We thank you for money miracles. We thank you for supernatural deliverances. We thank you, Lord, for manifesting your power. We thank you for miracle babies. We thank you for miracle job. We thank you for special miracles. Father, Lord, we thank you for the manifestation of the world you have decreed over our lives in the name of Jesus thank you Heavenly Father in Jesus name Father in the name of Jesus Christ we receive answer to every prayer request here tonight in the name of Jesus we receive answers tonight in the name of Jesus special miracles uh, in the name of Jesus diverse kinds of testimonies uh, in the name of Jesus angelic interventions uh, in the name of Jesus supernatural supplies uh, in the name of Jesus great open doors uh, in the name of Jesus we give you praise oh God uh, in Jesus name we are prayed Amen. Amen. Let's give Jesus praise. We agree that as we have declared, it is done in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Our time is gone. Please give me two minutes. We must do the impartation. We have been fasting. We have been praying. And we have trivialized impartation in the body of Christ. We are always looking for people to lay hands on. Always looking for people to prophesy on. So every time we talk about an impartation, there is hardly an expectation. But a real impartation brings result. You can carry something now that you did not come here with. Please believe. An impartation is not just an anointing for ministry. I told you it's a transference of possibilities. Praise the Lord. So in the next two, three minutes, please let your heart be opened. You don't have to bring anybody out under the anointing. Just guide them, but please receive. Please receive. Mm. 
I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. No matter the quality of your secret place, you will need impartation. There are possibilities in your life that cannot evolve just from your secret place. You will need to tap into the provision that has been vested in the body. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus. The grace, you don't have to kneel. Please, you don't have to kneel. The grace that makes for a new level of visions. People have lost visions in the body of Christ. We tell lies that we are seeing, but we are not seeing anything. Father, the eyes that see genuine visions, let there be a restoration. Let that mantle fall upon someone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the eyes that can see into the realm of the spirit, the ears that can hear the sound of the spirit, receive it now in the name of Jesus. That prophetic river locked up within your spirit in the name that is above all names. The grace for the prophetic in a new dimension. Who is this grace coming upon? Mabato Zabarakata Embreketeta Upon all flesh, he says, I will pour out my spirit. Receive that anointing now in the name of Jesus. I believe in miracles and I believe that there is a distinct grace for signs and wonders. I'm stretching my hands. I'm seeing a dove. This is what I'm seeing. Just like a bird hovering round. In the name of Jesus Christ, upon as many whose hearts are open, Father, the anointing, the real anointing for signs, for wonders, inside outside especially upon men and women of god i decree and declare let this grace for signs and wonders fall upon you now in the name of jesus fall upon you now for your church for your fellowship for your prayer group i say it again for your church for your fellowship for your prayer group receive it in the name of jesus The spirit of wisdom. There is a spirit of wisdom. It says, Doth not wisdom cry? Wisdom speaking says, With me are. It says, By me kings reign and princes decree justice. It says, With me are riches, wealth, and honor, yea, durable riches and righteousness. I declare the grace to know what to do is called the spirit of wisdom the grace to know what to do let it come upon you right now let it come upon you right now let the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now let the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now please help those under the anointing talabarus kanamahashanas I want to release favor. The grace that can make a king say up to half of my kingdom. There is a grace for favor. I testify to you people of the living God. There is a grace for favor. It is not of him that runneth. Nor of him it is not of him that that um run it what's the scripture we net not of him that run it but of the lord that showeth mercy he said thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion and the reason why you have mercy is because the time to favor her yea the set time favor will take away hardship from your life not just financially even spiritually i decree and declare receive the grace for favor it's coming upon you receive the grace for favor receive the grace favor in ministry favor in business favor in ministry favor in business 
favor in ministry favor in business in the name of jesus every geography has its favor may the favor associated with your geography if it was on the rocks the king built on the rocks it was an advantage if it was the sea they channeled the water for productivity every territory has access to favor i declare that the favor a portion for your territory let it rest upon you right now i want to pray for the spirit of revelation to make all men see the fellowship of this mystery let me tell you this i confess to you sincerely under god that by the privilege of god's grace i'm a student of the word but i can tell you this no matter how frequent you read this there is a spirit that must come on you for your eyes to see otherwise sometimes you will see but what you will see is error sometimes what you will see will deceive you i'm praying for you we need revelation we need revelation we need revelation we need revelation some of you started with a rich deposit of this spirit but as it is right now you open scripture and you don't see anything all you continue to do is copy the messages of men of god verbatim i declare that a unique grace for revelation let it rest upon you right now access inside access inside access inside into the mysteries of the kingdom this is the year of extraordinary fruitfulness i believe there is a grace for wealth i believe it i believe there are principles for wealth i believe there are understandings that can bring resources but i believe there is a grace there is an exact spiritual grace that works by causing men to come with their blessings when that grace came upon saul three men holding two loaves of bread each saluted him and gave him one in the name that is above all names in this season that god has ordained for the body that in addition to the prosperity of our souls in addition to understanding influence and the principles of spiritual transformation let the grace that can cause a man to rise and become as strong as a nation financially may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you in the name of jesus i believe there is a grace that shields men from destruction he said destroy it not for there is a blessing in it don't touch this one there is something upon it i decree and declare let the mark that exempts men from terrorism from kidnapping from assassination from accidents the grace that exempts receive it right now for you and for your family receive it right now receive it right now i declare that whatever you have lost coming here it doesn't matter how long please believe release your faith right now in the name of jesus christ i command a sevenfold restoration i command a sevenfold restoration restoration of anointings of money of ideas of relationships of access of illumination in the name of jesus i pray for every ministry represented here whatever has clamped your wings so that your influence cannot spread beyond certain borders i declare by the power of the spirit shift to a new dimension shift to a new dimension of teaching of the miraculous of the demonstration of the spirit in the name of jesus christ i will multiply them they will not be small I will glorify them they will not be few whatever keeps you small in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that power is broken over you now all those
those trusting God for jobs here. Yeah. You are trusting God. You have agreed with God and said, Lord, set to me, give me an honorable job. I release my faith with you and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that by this time next month, let it please the Lord that you return with testimonies. Let me pray for those in business. Father, the grace that came upon Tyre and Sidon that made them to be called the marketplaces of the earth, I decree and declare that the spirit not only of innovation but the mastery to exchange your value, the grace, the fortitude to know how to exchange your value such that you are rewarded, may that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every dying business here. Hear the word of the Lord. Come alive now in the name of Jesus. Everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus. Whether for you or for your loved ones. We agree by the power that put Jesus in the womb of Mary. In the name that is above all names. It's called the power of the highest. That can put a seed in the womb of a woman. And keep that seed until it delivers. May that grace and that power come upon you now. We cause barrenness. We cause impotency. In the name of Jesus. Whoever has what it takes to favor you. The Bible says withhold not good from them that is due when it is within your power. I declare whoever has the power to support you. The power to help lift you. We compel them by the spirit to favor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray in the name of Jesus. We are rounding up the prayer and fasting. Many of you have stretched your capacity spiritually. I declare. The fire of prayer that can burn an incense and cause it to reach heaven in the name of Jesus every attack on your prayer life shagapo sanaka paragados reketele kotosobadia let the seven lampstands of your prayer life be lit back right now in the name of Jesus Christ receive the grace to travail Receive the grace to pray. Any evil and wicked company and association around your life. You are not free till your association is free. I declare to you, you may be nice but you are surrounded by wicked people who do not fear God. I declare a separation between you and the wicked. I declare right now divine direction for people who are saying Lord what is the next step in this season should I stay here or should I go the Bible says and thine ear shall hear a voice listen let me tell you one mistake to miss the will of God can cost you years before you return I declare accuracy of perception in the name of Jesus Christ that the God of heaven will give you peace by all means in the name of Jesus the last prayer point and we are done thou shall anoint Aaron and his sons and thou shall put upon him some of your honor honor is a grace it is transferable honor can be put upon a man 
in the name of Jesus Christ it says therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows this is not in a competitive manner but I pray for you the grace that distinguishes men from the crowd may that grace rest upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus let it be from tonight that miracles and testimonies that you have never seen in your life we release them listen listen Noah released the dove from the ark after the rain it returned back as proof that it did not have a resting place then he waited a while and returned and it came back with a little olive an almond tree, an olive plant as a sign that life was restoring he sent it back the third time and it did not come back again this is how testimonies are they can be sent and they return because the condition for them to stay is not there and then they return again and say the anointing is now being introduced in that life and by the third time they are ready to be established i pray for you every long-standing testimony that has already been released from the throne and for whatever means has refused to be established in your life i declare right now in the name of jesus let that testimony manifest in your life now let that testimony manifest in your life now anyone that says over his dead body for you to succeed may god answer their prayer in the name of jesus christ and i pray for all of those who have come from far i agree with you i release my faith whether for the miracle service tonight or all through the prayer and the fasting i agree the same way moses tabernacled upon the mount and returned with the radiance of the glory upon his face return with the grace to prove that you met god return with the testimonies that prove that you met god return with the signs the wonders the transformation the illumination return with the evidences of an encounter in the name of jesus let's give jesus a big hand clap thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah praise the lord our time is gone i sincerely apologize but we thank the lord for the encounter tonight you will live to testify very quickly please let's let's settle down very quickly please just help that woman so she doesn't enjoy anyone there are people here please listen overflow one two three four online there are people here who probably have been attending the conference or just came in here tonight and whilst you heard me teach and whilst you saw the things that the Lord did in this place the Holy Spirit began to convict you that you need Jesus Jesus is not an idea Jesus is not something and someone you can do without I believe with all my heart that and please prepare to clear the way for them overflow one two three if you are at the door please shift there are people here under the sound of my voice who are saying apostle if you will make an altar call I need Jesus I need him desperately I need him truly there are others who are saying I love Jesus but for whatever reason I need a restoration and I need my life back with him whether you belong to any of these categories please inside and outside I'm only going to count five don't be ashamed don't be afraid I want you to leave your seat very boldly and come and stand here it will be my joy and delight to lead you to Jesus don't wait for someone to come before you be the first I'm counting one come quickly come quickly koinonia let's honor them let's motivate them as they come please clear the way for those who are coming from outside two apostle I'm, I'm not sure if i'm born again or not join them join them join them 
join them I come from a Christian family. Am I born again? No, sir. Join them. I have very good friends. Am I born again? No, sir. Join them. The Lord is still talking to someone. I would want to come, but I'm afraid of my friends and those we came with. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, he said, I will be ashamed of you before my father. I believe the Lord is still speaking to a few people. If you are coming, please come quickly. Young, old, make your way. Let tonight be your night of salvation. He says, in the day that you hear his voice, do not harden your heart like they did in the provocation in the wilderness. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Hallelujah. If there are any ones coming, just allow them to quickly come. I appreciate every one of you for making this bold decision. Please mean it sincerely and truthfully. Lift your right hand and say after me, believing that Jesus is here. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you and I believe in you that you are the Son of God. Tonight, I receive your life. I receive your grace and i declare please help them and i declare that salvation is mine new life is mine from today till forever jesus is my savior is my lord is my friend i receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and i declare that I reign in life. Amen. May the Lord bless you. We believe you are mightily blessed. To connect with the ministry,